Welcome to SWPL Gaming, where together we build up and add to an already great handheld gaming community. So those of you that have been watching my channel have seen that I've done an unboxing for the Pal Kiddie V90, this little device right here. If you haven't seen it, I'll leave a clicky up here so you can check that out. In that video, I did some PS1 gameplay and it failed miserably. That was my opinion, it was really bad. Chris Redfield was teleporting all over the place. It wasn't good at all. I have now found a fix for that. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and you can fix yours if you too have had that problem. But let me tell you a little bit how I fixed the problem. So I reflashed it with a Pocket Go firmware. I believe it's 1.3.2 and I flashed that to my SD card. It was a new SD card. The link will also show you what you need to do. It's got a video on how to do it and the downloads that you're going to need. So that will be all there for you. Once I flashed the firmware onto my V90, it worked supremely better. It's not perfect, I wouldn't say that it's as good as the RG280 or the RG350, but it was a lot better than what we've seen before. There are no more Chris doing random teleportations or images that are appearing as invisible. All of that seemed to be fixed. So without further ado, let's get into some gameplay right now. As you can see, we've got the Pocket Go launch screen here. I just want to take the time to give a special mention to Sam Knight Free as they were kind enough to drop a link in my comments on the unboxing video. So Sam Knight Free, we really appreciate you sharing on that one. Okay, so twice the charm, Dino Crisis 2. Let's get it in. Let me turn the volume up. Last time, Dino Crisis 2 was a madness. Let's see what we get this time round. Okay, look, no disappearing. Look at that, it makes a difference, isn't it? See? Be sure to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, don't forget to subscribe and please tap that notification bell so you can stay up to date with my latest videos. I'm dripping. Get down.
Oh, it's still doing that. But at least he's not, he's not, you know, teleporting. Give it that. I'll give it that. I mean, I've got to give it, I've got to be fair. It's a lot better this way, but at least. The V90 actually does perform really well as long as you've got that pocket gold firmware image installed. That's made a massive difference and now because of it I can play a lot more when it comes to PlayStation games. I can produce a hell of a lot more. It was a little bit weird with the Resident Evil at that, you know, that cutscene where it had that little line right on the side here. It's annoying. It's not perfect but it's a hell of a lot better than it was before and it's playable. So yeah, V90 can emulate PS1. Not as good as some devices out there, but it still knows how to do a fairly decent job of it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.